So let's start with a big warm welcome to everybody. Hello and welcome to today's webinar. We are at day three of the challenge uh, strategy quest. And so we are starting out with something that we haven't done before. This is something that is totally against what you're supposed to do as a trader. But today we are going to risk it all. What's up, Alex? Hey, hey, Yaroslav. So today, yeah, we are going to a very nice and interesting trading session because <clears throat> as you guys may know, uh, we, we've been trading very like precisely and we, we've always talking about like risk and money management in uh, something like this. And um, today we're going to crash down this, this structure. So today we're going to show you what is the all in, uh, all, uh, all our deposit in one trade trading would be like so exactly keep uh, in mind this is this is for entertainment purposes only right yeah um have you ever thought like what it would look like and what i guess the emotional after effects would be well we're going to try to to work that out here for you today now normally i would never risk my entire account on a single trade um, but keep in mind that the markets can be random sometimes and that really uh you need to really use statistics to your advantage. And that's why we're demonstrating um, these strategies is because the strategies that are available, especially the ones that are paid for, right? The ones you can find in the market, those are uh, statistically back-tested strategies that the, the parameters themselves, they hold a lot of value. They're, they're really the key to you know, great success in the markets. And my additions, uh, addition greetings uh, to, the, to Angie, uh... She's assisting uh, us in the chat. So hey, thank Angie. you so much for your help. And um, guys, uh, I think it's time to clarify what exactly we are going to do. Yes. And um, I'm going to start the screen demonstration. So um, first of all, we do have uh, several battles uh, before. Uh, several battles like yesterday and the day before yesterday and unfortunately we both lose uh, these battles so we're we're going to like to play out uh, with Yaroslav who will be the winner today because uh, uh, we do have this competition between us analytics and Nick is uh, is uh, on top of us. He have like two wins, and we have only two loses. So I hope I will win today. And Yaroslav, I wish you to have a great trade. So <laughs> thank you, Alex. But the market will decide. So uh, as we as we've said before, so today we're going to make all in trades, uh, meaning that we do have uh, one hundred dollars uh, deposit each of us. And uh, I'm going to use like $100 per one trade. So uh, we will start from 10 minute trades. So the duration of the first trade will be 10 minutes. Uh, if this trade will be successful, I will reinvest everything and I will go all in. And so the Yaroslav will do the same, but we will change the duration, um, the trade duration to the five minutes. And if, we have two pluses in a row, we'll switch to one minute trade. So we uh, expect to have at least two or three trades today and uh, the winner takes it all. So uh, uh, Alex, do you mind if I show viewers how they can find the strategies and how they can put yes. them on their graph by sharing my screen? Yes, one moment. I will stop my screen demonstration so you can do yours. Wonderful, thank you. All right, here we go, you guys. So I have a blank graph right here. On Monday, I showed you one way of, of using strategies. Here is another. It's much faster, much simpler. And like I said, it carries the key parameters of the indicator. And so right down here in your indicators window is the trading strategies button. This is a new button. You may have not seen it before. And notice how many strategies we have. There's an entire library right here. You can see there's 30 of them. And these ones right here are available to trade for you for free. So you can test out viable working strategies right now on any uh, status account that you may have. So right now I'm going to be using the Japanese Pearl. So what I do is just click on it 
and there will be a really quick um, intro video. It may, uh, you may have some questions after you watch it and that's fine. Go ahead and ask them during the webinar. Uh, we're gonna be having webinars twice a week on the GEO channel, so make sure to check those out. Um, and as you can see right now, it's, uh, uh, I'm gonna click the enable button. I had it on previously and, and I took it off to show you guys this process. So I click enable strategy and boom, immediately it sets the Ichimoku cloud immediately. Now this is the standard one. The ones that are paid, they have uh, different parameters, again, to set uh, the effectivity of your uh, graph uh, of the uh, what the market conditions are like because different times of the year we have you know different market conditions so on the graph is my ichimoku cloud it's going to be the strategy that i'm going to be using today and might as well tell you what it is so as the moving average lines are here the tenken san and the kiju san line uh, as they cross, they're going to give us a trade signal. Now, what you have to understand is that there's also a signal to leave the uh, trade, and that would be price action dipping down below the faster moving line. So the, the nine period moving average is what we're looking at as a get out of the trade signal. All right. So I hope that happens in 10 minutes. I'm going to be using the one minute time frame in order to find all these uh, trade signals. And uh, up to you, Alex. Let me go ahead and stop sharing my screen. Um, what are you yeah. using today? Yeah, okay, guys. So uh, this is really nice new feature that uh, we were developing for, for some period of time. And now it's available um, in the trading strategies menu. So um, I think I'm going to stick with uh, probably Japanese trend. So um, I'm going to enable this one. And boom <laughs> we do have our indicator set up and also you do have a very nice explaining video how to use this strategy so what are the entry points what are the uh so what are the places we need to like close the trade if we're talking about forex strategies and other interesting and additional information in the small videos so what are we going to do here <clears throat> uh, actually me and Yaroslav, who both uh, will be using <clears throat> strategies based on the Heike Nashi candlesticks. Uh, you can find them here. Uh, and I want to mention that uh, actually Heike Nashi candlesticks are indicators too, because they do have some sort of calculations inside uh, the logic. So um, what I'm going to look at this strategy. So first of all, uh, I'm going to take a look and the intersection of the RSI and the 50% line. So this is a trend strategy and um, I need some trend movement. I need the intersection in this case, this is an, an up signal and this is some sort of down signals. And also I will pay attention to the Heike Nashi candles itself. So I will try to clarify uh, the strengths uh, of the trend or I will try to catch up this doji candles on Heike Nashi, which are the reversal sign uh, on the market. And um, this combination of these two indicators, Heike Nashi plus RSI will give me some entry points. So um, I think uh, I'm going to stick up with a five minute time frame. and um, probably Yaroslav, let's start from, from your trading strategy. So have you found your first trade? Uh, I'm looking at it right now, actually. Let me go ahead and share my screen with everybody. Okay, okay, one moment. So here we go. I'm looking at the euro dollar. Uh, I know the US dollar is strengthening and the euro and the Swiss uh, National Bank are going to hold interest rate meetings tomorrow. And usually when, uh, when that happens and they don't change, uh, the currency has a tendency to fall. Like in the case of uh, the uh, Swiss franc, it fell for a month straight on you know last no, September 23rd. And so, but, but while I'm talking, the signal is running away from me. Um, I just wanted to quickly look through the list. Uh, there were some other ones as well. Um, Remember that we do have 10 minutes. Uh, yes, I have. The ten, yeah, yeah, you're absolutely correct. So my 10 minute duration is set up and the amount is my entire account. My account balance is $110 um, after this week's trading. So I'm going to put the entire account on one trade. Now, this is, I guess this is the key moment where it's it's important to control stress and to control um, kind of the desire to quickly press the trigger. 
Um, like yeah. Nikolai had a really good trade with gold. He beat me by one trade. And, and that was, uh, he took the gold when I took Euro stocks or excuse me, the Euro uh, composite. Mm -hmm. So I'm looking at really the Euro crosses, the Euro dollar strengthening in, in favor of the dollar CAD as well. This is a bit of, a, of an ugly signal. Oh, and I did forget to mention, I'm also Heiken Ashi are the candles that are part of this strategy. So um, it's, there really is a combination of the most effective signals that you get when using these uh, strategies from a limb trade. Actually, I do have a signal. Maybe I will share my yes, screen. Yes, go ahead, Sh share yeah. yours, and then I'll start looking for mine as well. Okay, okay, perfect. So um, guys, um, I'm currently looking at the Euro Japanese Yen in the five minute time frame, And um, I do have this very nice situation over here. So. We do have some uptrend, we do have some downtrend, we do have some movement down, we do have a crossing. And uh, I think it's quite nice opportunity to trade down over here. So I will try a uh, 10 minute trade from here. And um, one of the moments, one of the maybe key moments to the strategy <clears throat> or maybe any other strategy that you are going to use, uh, is to analyze the current market situation. So how the price is fluctuating at the moment. And uh, the reason why I choose this particular situation is because uh, I can see some waves, you know, some movements over here. And uh, according to these movements, probably there will be some down pressure over, I don't know, this zone, uh, in my humble opinion. And this also make me like less concern about this trade. So I do have uh, I do have a vision that it probably will be successful because uh, when you are trading the market, uh, yes, you do have a trading strategy, but you can uh, add something else, some additional layers, some additional steps. Maybe it can be, I don't know, levels of support and resistance or any other indicators or your own personal experience. Uh, but in my humble opinion, the best strategies, the best trading strategies are those who are combined, are developed by yourself and traded by yourself. So I've opened up my first trade. Yaroslav, do you have, um, uh, have any, any luck in the signals? Yeah, actually, I, I did. Um, I had some good luck and some bad luck, and some of it okay, is tied I, to... I, I've stopped my, my screen sharing. A big sharing. finger mistake. So... Um, I opened a trade, but it was only for one minute. And uh, oh. the, the price action is just, just going crazy in between right here. The signal was good. It was a big uptrend. Oh my gosh. Did you see that? Oh my yeah. gosh. In the yeah. very last second, it dropped below the level. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Very strange because I can see that you do have 10 minutes. Remember I saw the 10 minutes. So what happened was when we have a new asset on the platform, it's called Quickler five second trading. When you click it, it changes the duration, right? Oh. I changed the duration of the graph back to <laughs> 10 minute and then one minute, or you have to change the, uh, the asset and see how the graph changes. So first I changed it back to Heike and Ashi. Then I changed it back to one minute, but look, the duration stayed at one minute. So when I opened the trade for my, um, for my uh, asset, it, it closed. So something to watch out for. Oh, what a way to go out. But, <clears throat> but actually, you know, maybe uh, there is a very, very nice situation. Uh, <laughs> you know, I, I always uh, trying to uh, see some bright in a, like in any situation, some bright lights. And uh, probably today we saved someone else like money and nerves because we showed this um, it's like not a mistake, but it's like the particular situation on the platform. And probably someone who is watching this video, he wouldn't do this uh, like in the future uh, for himself. So, wow. Yeah. Yeah. Watch out for that. You guys watch out for that button. When you <clears> click <throat> on the new asset, the quickler, uh, it changes your entire graph and your duration as well. Oh, yeah. Man. And um, another thought that came to my mind is that, um, like um, it's never it's never too much attention that you can pay for the for the trading because um, me like 
for myself, I sometimes uh, I'm like doing very stupid mistakes. Uh, for instance, I'm, I don't change the trade duration time or the amount, something like this. Uh, it happened from time to time. I, I'm trying to like to eliminate these mistakes, uh, but this is the part of the process actually. And um, you need to be like 100% precise of, on what you are doing when you are trading. So if you won't be precise and when you won't be focused on this process, you will have some some sort of these mistakes. And uh, I hope that you guys uh, won't have them in the future. So <clears throat> yeah, Alex in this case, correct. Yeah, in this case, uh, I do believe that our competition will end with my trade because. Um, if it will be successful, I will win this particular battle. And if no, we'll have a draw. <laughs> you will lose and I will lose simultaneously. Uh, nevertheless, this is uh, the trading with a 100% uh, deposit in your trade. So you can almost double it in like in a couple of minutes. But remember that this is like too much risk uh, at the moment. And talking about like risk and money management rules, uh, the golden rules of risk and money management are the following. So maybe not more than 2% of your deposit in one trade. If you do have several trades uh, open up at the same time, maybe five or 6% common risk for all of these trades uh, at the same time will be like enough not try to go like above this, uh, above this digits. So. Um, what was your trade, by the way? Can you uh, share it with us as well? Yeah. And be prepared for something special today, you guys. One of us is going to win. One of us is going to lose. Some of you guys are also going to win as well, but it's going to take skill. No more luck. No more randomness. We're going to have some. Uh, we'll, we'll talk about it towards the end of the webinar. Okay, guys. So. Um, I do have four minutes. Uh, at the moment, my trade is in a negative zone, uh, but I can see some down pressure. So the, the asset is trying to get a little bit lower. So I assume that this trade can end in my favor. Uh, we just need to wait for like about four minutes. Um, I don't know. Nobody knows uh, what, what uh, the end of the trade will be. And uh, that's why it is so important to use like risk and money management rules and any other rules of, uh, of the trading. And um, oh, now I'm in a zero. <laughs> so um, maybe I will do something like this. Um, I'm going to switch between the assets and trying to figure out uh, another entry point by the strategy. And um, I will try to share it with you guys and probably, so I cannot open another trade, but maybe you can. So uh, what do we have here on the other assets? Let's check out. So um, meanwhile, I want to say that, oh, the quickler. <laughs> yeah, one minute. Please be prepared for this. I won't, <laughs> I won't make this uh, mistake. I need Heike Nash over here. Um, so where are we here? Um, you know, this, this is a beautiful, um, like beautiful set for the strategy. Can you see this like very nice movements up and down? So I think this was quite, so this is one of the like the perfect signal by the strategy. Uh, what I'm talking about, I'm talking about uh, this particular hiking Asha candlesticks. So um, and plus this uh, intersection with the 50 uh, percent in the RSI line. So when I'm talking about uh, hiking uh and it is working both on our trading strategy that we're using for me and Yaroslav, uh, it's like the same logic. Uh, if we're trading, so if we do have an uptrend uh, uh, from from the green uh, from the green candles, um, it is really nice that they don't have some shadows of the week uh, in the downside. 
or when we are talking about red candles, there is no weeks uh, ahead of them. So this is like the first point I pay attention to. The another point is uh, the bodies of the candle. So if uh, next body is bigger than the previous one, something like this uh, is happening on the market, um, you can see that the bodies over here are slightly like bigger or maybe not bigger, but like the same size, the same size and bigger. Uh, <clears throat> so if you can recognize the situation like this, uh, it is showing the strings or the trend. And if the body is uh, enlarging, uh, this means that the trend is, um, the strings of the trend is enlarging too. So uh, this is like the second point I pay attention to the bodies of the Haikinashi candles. So no candlesticks in the reverse of the candles movements, the bodies of the candles. And also I pay attention to this uh, little guys, the doji candles on Haikinashi are very uh, nice points um, uh, for, the, for the reversal moment. So these are three main uh, objects on the hiking ash I pay attention to. So uh, the, here we have very nice, two, two very nice clear situations. So while I was explaining this strategy, uh, my trade closed with a minus. Okay, let's take a look. Um, yeah, it's trying to get lower, but yeah, it's lower now. I think I, I missed up for a, like for a few digits. Unfortunately, my trade was incorrect. So it means that we do have a draw, right? Nobody yeah. wins, nobody loses in, in today's battle. <laughs> and uh, I'm having a look through chat to see if you guys um, have any questions. Uh, in the meantime, Alex, do you want to prepare the super awesome trading quiz that we have prepared for our viewers? Uh, yeah. So are you ready? Awesome. Are you ready, guys? <laughs> are you ready, Yaroslav uh, and Angie? So uh, we have prepared a small game for you. And um, I'm going to show you the presentation. It contains five different questions. And um, the first person in the chat who will give the right answer, he will win $10 risk-free trade. So we'll have five lucky winners. So nobody uh, wins uh, in our like analytics competition today, but today we will have five winners uh, from you guys in the chat. So- um, Hey Alex, before we get started, so maybe yeah. you can um, uh, a, 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 uh, give additional uh, advice to Mustafa Nuri. Uh, this is the second webinar. He's asking us, sir, how to analyze the release of crude oil inventories and Cushing oil inventories? How do they affect the price of oil? So because Alex is um, proficient at trading commodities, he may have some really good insight. The basics of, of inventories is the more the inventories are, especially in the United States, the, the more they can play with the price of oil and the more it kind of lowers the price of oil, right? As inventory is, is depleted, then more you know, oils need to be bought up at market, which drives up the price of oil. Um, in, in the, at the market price. Now, maybe the futures market behaves a little bit differently. Alex, maybe if you wanted to add a few moments to this. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I can add uh, that. Uh, so the current situation on the oil market is following. So the <clears throat> United States of America and several other countries uh, are actually selling the crude oil inventories. They're getting it into the market and they're trying to push uh, uh, the price down because there is a very big uh, price uh, for oil and gasoline uh, in the United States of America. And uh, this is a very crucial moment for uh, like internal politics uh, in the United States of America. So uh, they're trying to sell it off. And so <laughs> there is a very, mm, very sophisticated uh, geopolitical factors playing out over here in one hand we do have the OPEC plus cartel uh, and from the other hand we do have uh, United States of America and the, their friends uh, and they're trying to manipulate with the price of oil uh, at the moment so yeah there is 
very uh, big impact on oil right now. But um, like this is this is not a financial advice. This is my my only vision, my my like personal vision. Um, oil. Okay, let let's take a look at oil. Sorry, guys. Brand crude oil we do have on the platform. Um, okay, let's take a look at like one day scale. <clears throat> so we did have, um, it's not all time high, but uh, we did have a very nice uptrend up to like 85, $86 for one barrel. And after this, uh, there was a situation with a new uh, coronavirus, uh, how it's called, Omicron, Omicron, Omicron version. Uh, and it was a sell-off uh, on like on the entire market. And you can see the sell-off uh, here on the brand. And um, in general, it looked like a scaring, um, a scaring like picture. But me personally, I do believe that uh, at some point, uh, oil will continue to rise, and probably in the next year we will see the like three digits uh, over here. Like the oil uh, will cost more than one hundred dollars, and uh, some some financial advisors from big banks are talking about these digits. Uh, but for a while, there is like you know shaking of the market right now so um all right let's get started with the game yeah <laughs> okay guys um i will open up the presentation again five questions the first one who will give the right answer he will win and uh i don't know yaroslav or angie uh they will ask you to to type down your id number on the platform it is can it can be found over here, and um, here we go. Oh, sorry guys, wrong button. <laughs> okay, so the first question is: uh, What strategy is based on two moving averages with a different period? Remember, I taught you guys where to find the trading strategies. They're right in the indicator window. Yeah, I will, I will you give have... you one small tip. So all the questions will be about trading strategies. <laughs> because this is the subject of this, uh, of this, I don't know, stream of this event, the whole event. That's the, the correct answer. So I see some people are answering right now. The correct answer is uh, sliding uh, may, may on. I show you? Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Yeah, okay. So the, the correct answer is sliding on average. Sliding. Do on. have a winner? We the first guy that wrote it was Mr. Suhaid in my in my window, uh, but he wrote sliding averages, and then the following person wrote sliding on moving averages on <laughs> caravan. So it's like a little in the in between. Do we take the first person that, that got it correctly? Um, it's it's totally your call, Yaroslav. <laughs> <laughs> well, Mr. Uh, Suhaib, I think, wrote correctly the first sliding on averages or sliding averages. Um, if you can write your account ID to us in, tr in, in chat, Mr. Suhaib, and I'll take your name down just to keep track of you. I think we can go on, Alex. Okay, well, let's continue. So, uh, in which strategies uh, Heike Nashi candlesticks are used? And <laughs> another small, uh, small, uh, small tip over here that me both, uh, me and Yaroslav were using the strategies on this stream, <laughs> actually. So I don't think yours are like precisely, oh yeah, that's right, Heike Nashi is. Yeah. I'm confusing that with Ichimoku. So try to remember what what trading strategies were we using today when we were trying to trade all in. <laughs> so Ank Caravan, I believe, uh, answered it correctly as well. Do they need to write both of them, Alex, or just one of them would work? Uh, I think both. 
Ah, so there's more than one strategy, guys. Alex, just yeah, there are two hand. strategies. So I was using one of these strategies. Yaroslav was using another one. Uh -huh. So you need to type two trading strategies where the hiking ash can be <laughs> share <laughs> a. Let me open up my platform. So there's two of them, guys. JP and JT. <laughs> okay, maybe, maybe you do need uh, another another tip, another advice. Yaroslav, do we have any other uh, pieces of advice? Um, yeah. <laughs> they're the first two strategies in the list is that too much of a <laughs> too much of a hint you're so generous <laughs> <laughs> what i'm thinking is that uh do any of the other forex strategies contain it um yeah so then actually there's more than yes two. there's more than two that's that's what i was just wondering confirming. um yeah Okay, so Anthony, or I thank you, Angie, for your help in chat. So uh, Toshan Sood, you have been declared the winner from our judges up above. Okay, so I can I can share. Yeah, we can, can go on. Okay, Toshan Sood, okay. waiting for your account. So, um, yeah, actually, Yaroslav, you're absolutely right. Uh, there are like more versions more names because we do have uh, Forex versions of the strategies. Uh, but yeah. if we are talking about FTT, there's a Japanese trend and Japanese pearl that we were using uh, at today's trading session. So the next question, guys, uh, why is the relative strength law strategy called so? What is the reason for this? How do you think? That's a good one. I believe you used the relative strength law yesterday, didn't you, Alex? Uh, yeah, you're absolutely right. <clears throat> uh, Mohammed Saif is asking, why is there a question displayed? It's so that you guys can answer it. Um, this is the question that we're asking to the audience. So Toshan Sud, I see your account ID. We have recorded it. Thank you. Thank you so much. So um, Congratulations. <laughs> guys. Why do you think relative strength law is called like this? What what can be what can be the reason for this? Um, another small advice, maybe maybe it's somehow related uh, with the indicator, which is uh, based like the strategy is based on. Mm -hmm. So, uh, actually, I thought this would be like uh, <laughs> the, um, the easiest question. Yeah, you know what? Uh, every time you think something is easy, it will have some, some internal, <laughs> internal um, uh, difficulties, some milestones. So, um, guys, still no, no answer? Okay, let's let's put it like this. If we will have no correct answer in like 30 seconds, I will skip up this question and we'll get to, to the last one. Alex, maybe you can speak about what is the relative strength law. I mean, if there's a specific law that pertains to the markets that maybe is tied with it or like a backstory. Uh, the backstory is uh, something like this. Um, there is a strategy and <clears throat> it is using one type of oscillator and um, actually it represents how all oscillators are working. So if you understand this basic principle of uh, this strategy, you can work with uh, any oscillator in the oscillators menu because they are working quite in a quite the same way. And um, so um, nothing yet, Yaroslav? People are writing that it's the RSI indicator because it uses the RSI indicator. Yeah, yeah, this is correct answer. 
<laughs> they've been correct for a really long time yeah <laughs> been be, be pin soon i wrote rsi correctly <laughs> oh yeah yeah because it's it's based on the rsi okay thank correct. you so yeah. much yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah in this case uh whew. so be pin uh, we're waiting for your account id and chat just like uh toshan sud wrote and mir suhai we're looking for you as well go ahead alex Perfect. next question the next question, uh, what indicator is used in the Japanese Perl strategy? Uh, Yaroslav, you were using I was using strategy. it today, that's right. These questions are really easy, Alex. We got to think of something harder. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is for uh, like intertraining purposes only. Uh, but I think next time we'll do something more sophisticated. All right. Um, okay, so... There is an indicator with a bunch of lines and intersections. And when I first uh, take a look at this indicator, I was like, what? What I'm looking at? There is so much uh, information, what I'm staring at. But uh, it looks, looks like to be a very nice uh, indicator, which I'm personally using for Japanese yen mode, actually. So... We have our first answer. Actually, we have there's yeah. three answers. Dahaval Vyas answered Japanese trend, which is incorrect. Yeah. Toshan Sud an answered correctly Ichimoku Cloud, but he's already a winner. And yeah. Kunal Kashia wrote Ichimoku Cloud. So you are the winner for our fourth question. Kunal Kashia, congratulations. Go ahead, write your account. <laughs> okay, let's go to the final question. So yeah, the Ichimoku Cloud is correct answer. In uh, the last question, oh my gosh, how many letters? Slow stochastic oscillator, Japanese candlesticks, and price levels I used in the strategy called. Um, we have never shown this strategy on this week. Um, and I think it will be the hardest one. <laughs> Yaroslav, you, you were talking that uh, the question were like, very very simple mm -hmm. and <laughs> i think this is a hard nut so um there is a trading strategy it okay let me give you some some advice over here it contains only one word uh it is working on ftt and um you can see it in the list of the of the strategies that we were showing you today, this free strategies uh, for the for the starter account. So it's the only one we haven't shown you yet. The only yeah. one we haven't used. Yeah, because uh, but Alex gave a really easy tip <laughs> <laughs> as well there. Nice. So yeah, it's uh, I think it's uh, the most maybe um, complicated strategy from from this list because. Um, just because you need to place uh, the price levels and you need to, to take a look at the Japanese candlestick patterns, uh, which are used in this strategy. But in any case, uh, it is quite interesting strategy too. So, so basically- we have the correct answer. Reflection is the great reflection. act. Reflection, yeah, correct. Okay, guys, my congrats to the winners. Uh, and um, okay. I will skip the presentation. So we do have five winners in the chat. Yes. Nice. Nice. So guys, to the winners, we have Mir Suhaib, Toshan Sud. We have your account ID, Binpin Sunar, Kunal Kashyap, and Dinesh. Make sure to write your account IDs right now because in the comments, they're disabled. You're not going to be able to leave your account ID if we don't get it from you today. So make sure that you guys write that out for us and claim your prizes. Um, one other thing I also want to talk about now, we, we briefly talk about it during each webinar, but there is going to be a Christmas party that we're hosting for all of you guys. It's also going to be an online event. There's going to be a lot of giveaways, a lot of, you know, free special stuff for you guys and holiday cheer and that you can uh, come to the webinars, learn a few things, you know, work on your trading and you know, be rewarded for it. So that's going to be on the 23rd of December. Add that to your calendar. You guys really don't want to miss it. So Kunal Keshiep, I have your account. Thank you. Hey guys, uh, thank you so much for watching this, uh, for watching this webinar. 
pushing the stream, the trading battle. And uh, I don't know who will be the winner from the like from us analytics. Uh, probably it will be the Nikolai. <laughs> it, the, the sun is shining on his street uh, this week. But um, I want to like to give you like a few like last tips for today. Um, like one trading session or one trade or even one week, it shouldn't like I mean bad one or actually a good one too. They shouldn't uh, like destroy all of your trading uh, achievements. And you need to trade um, need to trade and take a look in, in the future. So you need to be like uh, steady for like a couple of months or years, something like this. Uh, that's why we're trying to, to trade with like a few percentages of our deposit uh, to have like different uh, strategies for different situations, something like this. So um, don't like put everything on one trade or one asset or one week or one like anything. It's, it may work, it may won't work, but um, this is just not the approach in the trading. And this is like my last advice for today um guys thank you so much for being here with us tomorrow at the same time the same place uh we will meet and we will trade again thank you for that piece of advice i think that's a great piece to end on again try to use statistics in your trading and try to look for the the end term you want to have a lot of little things that you do correctly and paying attention in my case is definitely the the issue that needs to be worked on to make sure that every trade that you put on every money that you risk you need to check all the parameters each and every time make it a habit get in the routine of doing that with that guys come back tomorrow we're going to have an, another special webinar for you guys angie and nick are going to be battling it out you guys can learn some more of nick's secret trading techniques and you know get in on the action i'm sure there's going to be more stuff that that you will get and learn tomorrow yeah bye bye guys thank you guys so much bye bye see you guys later uh, for our winners we do have been